While there's a lot of things to think about and maybe worry about during a pandemic, estate planning might be one of those things on your mind. We're gonna talk a little bit about estate planning during the pandemic, and we've got Nelson Donovan here, and he's joining us with Krauss Donovan Estate Law Partners. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining us, Nelson. Ah, thank you for the invitation. Happy to be here. So this is kind of a heavy topic, but let's start with sort of a general question. Why do I need an estate plan? You know, people often overlook this aspect of their life. We think about everything else we plan for. We plan for our career. We plan for our, before that, education. We plan for our, our family situation. We plan for retirement. We plan our savings and our trips. Yet, we don't want to think about our own incapacity or if something happens to us. So people will dismiss this mostly because we don't want to face our own mortality or face our own fragility. Uh, so an estate plan really is a rather essential component and, and not something that is to be dismissed. And when I think about sort of the end of life and you know, I think about aging and I think about needing a will, but a will may be not the only thing that we need. Why would that be wrong to assume that a will is really all that we need to protect us? Well, I think that the fundamental premise there is I'm going to focus on my death is the issue. And too many people fail to realize that incapacity is probably the bigger danger. And that incapacity could be, I don't know, look at the current environment, COVID and somebody winding up in an ICU on a ventilator unexpectedly, or realistically, more often things like accidents or acute illnesses that come along. How are you going to manage those circumstances? How are you going to ensure that the people who are dependent on you are taken care of and the people that are there for you are able to take care of you? A will is like a note you leave on the refrigerator for somebody to find later. It's just a set of instructions on what to do after you're dead. So an estate plan involves more documents, powers of attorney, perhaps trusts, so that your affairs can be managed while you're alive, but not dead. Got it, yeah, so there's a lot of circumstances maybe we're not taking into account. Now let's talk about when we do pass though. Why should we care really what happens once we're gone? Well, I think that's a good point. A lot of people do say that, hey, I'm dead, what do I care? Let people sort it out. Again, we got to back up that lens. We got to back up the clock and think about it's not death that is the only thing that we need to talk about in an estate plan. It's dealing with those unfortunate, unforeseen incapacities, uh, whether it's you know the accident or that illness. You have to think that you do care how your the people dependent on you are taken care of, and and whether that's in life and infirmity or after you die. Really, when you do take the time to actually consider, you do care. People do care that if they have children, that things are set up for them, uh, or if they have a spouse or somebody dependent on them, that things are, are taken care of for them. And when I hear, why do I care, I'll be dead, that's really more of a defense mechanism for, this frightens me and I really don't wanna talk about it, uh, but we're, a firm that's in the business of helping people come to a good solution and come to an understanding to compassionately go through this process of ensuring your wishes are met. Yeah, absolutely. Well, there's a lot to think about and I want to make sure that our viewers get some information on maybe how to have that conversation. So are you able to serve clients right now during a pandemic and help them get some of these affairs in order? Oh, we certainly are. And and that's been, you know, kind of an interesting challenge. And actually, I think a way that we have developed and modified our business to act or to be responsive in the future. Um, we have transitioned to a cloud-based practice. So our staff works remotely. Uh, yeah, I happen to be in the office, but I'm the only one here. Uh, we conduct our entire process via Zoom. And that's from introductory meetings, to information gathering, to what we call a goals and strategy session where we're discussing the, you know, the possibilities uh, to the actual detail meetings and the explanation of documents. We're doing this all via Zoom. Uh, and the easiest way to start that process is right on our homepage. There is a big get started now button. 
and that begins our interactive process. You can also just pick up the phone and talk to uh, one of our staff members about setting up that initial uh, Zoom conversation, really easy to do uh, and very much uh, responsive to social distancing. Very good. Well, it's nice to hear you're still able to help folks out even during a pandemic. And we appreciate you giving us some of your thoughts on, on that. Thanks so much. Nelson Donovan with Krause Donovan Estate Law Partners. I'm Jessa Jeremiah. You're watching Talk Wisconsin. We'll be right back.